All right, guys, we're back uh, with another video. It's been a few months. Uh, I've got quite a few pickups over the last few months. I just haven't had time to do much recording or anything like that. Uh, uh, first, just want to say thanks to Jesse, Think Blue 77 Sent a bunch of us uh, these coffee mugs that he had made up. So pretty cool there. It's got the... 90 Donruss Frank Thomas rated rookie that he never actually had, but he should have. And then he sent me this sweet Maury Wills uh, 63 pinup. So uh, it's a big 8 by 10 type of deal, but I think I'm going to send it in and get it slab through SGC. I'll put it over there so it doesn't man, it cause kind of a glare. But thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it, partner. Uh, next, uh, let me get these in order like I should. Uh, picked up uh, the 68 uh, Johnny Bench rookie variation. Uh, I pulled. I have his. I have his uh, rookie here, just in a PSA four because he can get kind of expensive, but picked up this uh the variation right here uh, if you look on the back and you read uh johnny impressed tne reds instead of the reds here's the correct version you can see maybe if it's not glared but so uh this one's just this one's just in a four but still nicely centered and then the the variation one is uh, just in a three, but centered super nice. Uh, picked up this Herb Score. This Herb Score's last card, uh, 62 tops for the White Sox. Uh, I think it was Herb Score that took a ball off the head from Gil McDougal or something like that. So that got that for the White Sox display. Uh, did get a Carson Montgomery autograph from Mike O, one of his auctions. So, White Sox top prospect. Uh, snagged another 73 top side Costa rookie card. Finally picked up a Dave Kingman. He's got out of hand there for a while and they come back down to earth. So, 73 tops Dave Kingman. Uh, this was kind of a big one here. This was the uh, 2001 Topps traded uh, Albert Pujols authentic game used bat card. This is a short print. It's going to be pricey. This one I picked up before the National. So I actually got it from uh, Reed from uh, David Adams. Uh, let's see. Picked up this 81 Topps uh, around the floor or 81 Opeachy. Got him with the White Sox. He is, I think, in the Topps traded set in the White Sox uh, you know, uh, uniform. But I have, I've got that set, but I haven't opened it. So uh, snag this 83 Fleer Gary Gaetti. I think this was from Four Sharp Corners. Uh, I can't remember if I showed this one or not. I picked up Kim Boyer's MVP or PSA 8. Uh... Picked up the 66 Al Downing in a mint nine. Good looking cat, good looking card there. Uh, picked up uh, a couple, a few of these, uh, or four of these Expos, Pete Rose, the postcards. Um, you got to send off a couple to get great. I don't know about if Pete Rose does TTMs or not, but. Oh, they all got that that smudge and stuff is just on the uh, little card saver. It's not on the actual card. They're not men or anything like that, but they're not creased up. But they got a little bit of corner, some corner issues, but that's all right. Just wanted to add something else to the Pete Rose Expos collection. Uh, come across this decent uh, Lou Pinella rookie uh, raw here. I don't know. I'll have to look at it closer. 
shoot. If it got a six, I'd be uh, pretty happy about that, but it might be more in the five range. A couple Bill Whites here, pretty cheap right now. He's got a chance of going into the uh, Hall of Fame here coming up for the executive. So I was talking about uh, to Ray from Philly about him and didn't have anything. I mean, a couple here. They they won't. Neither one of these will be high grade either. Maybe four or fives if that, but. Uh, then picked up this awesome these got way out of hand there for a while but this is from 2001 i believe 2000 or 2002 uh upper deck minor league when uh michael jordan played with the scottsdale scorpions there at the uh in the arizona fall league at the end of 94 so pretty cool there yeah, if you if you look into these, there's some pretty rare ones of these, like numbered to like five and stuff like that, that are just ridiculous. So um, this one wasn't too bad a price here, but don't see much of MJ in his Scott Stale Scorpions uh, uniform. So pretty cool card there. Uh, then I did pick up. Uh, oh yeah, I picked up this. Uh, Oscar Gamble. This is like a type of five by seven or six by nine, maybe. But trying to get Oscar Gamble in a Chicago White Sox uniform in '77 is about as hard as getting Dave Kingman in a New York Yankees card in '77. Uh, so, uh, so this is from uh, 1977 Jewel Foods. I don't know if this was a uh, giving away to games or just at the, the grocery stores type of deal, but. His are so hard to find. There's there's other ones like Steve Stones on eBay and some of the other guys, but trying to find Oscar. Uh, of course, in 77, probably had one of his better years. He was even in the MVP run. I think he had 31 home runs for the Sox and, and uh, come back. I think they traded for him back in, like, in 85, but he didn't. Uh, wasn't really that great in 85 but that was the end of his career so letting his soul glow right there so this is pretty cool this is definitely going to uh sgc to get uh encased uh and then i picked up uh the nolan ryan uh milton bradley version uh, i have this is his regular card here and i uh, just in a four so Glare off there just in a four and I'll leave up the back here but I found a pretty nice uh, centered copy of the Milton Bradley Nolan Ryan just in a three but the backs are the biggest tell tail they're more of a mustard yellow and then also uh, the way these were on the sheets is uh, I think he was on the sheet like this and there was a hot rod card above him with a white border and then the football card below him with a white border. So there's a little bit of bleed. And they say that uh, some of the white bordered cards will have a little burlap on them too, so like overlap so but sweet card there been looking for one of these or looking at them forever but finally went ahead and pulled the trigger so uh all right guys that's all i've got still uh opening modern stuff uh don't really have my sights on anything too major right now so Everybody have a good weekend, and we'll talk to you guys later.